parent-child hierarchy columns usually contain IDs or key fields instead of plain text. The figure illustrates a comparison of hierarchies. A level hierarchy is rigid in nature and the root and the child nodes can only be accessed in a defined order. You have to perform certain steps in order to implement level hierarchies. First, select the source tables for view. Next, select the columns that should be part of the view. In the Semantics node, select the Hierarchies tab and click on the plus button in the Hierarchy pane to add a hierarchy. For a level hierarchy, you have to add the columns to the hierarchy in the correct level order. The order should be from top to bottom where the lowest granularity should be placed at the lowest level of the hierarchy. You can also define an ascending or descending sort direction for each level. When you preview an attribute view containing hierarchies using SAP HANA Studio, you will not be able to see the hierarchy in the same way because it is displayed when you use a reporting tool supporting hierarchies. You need to perform certain steps to implement parent-child hierarchies. You can explore parent and child hierarchies based on a selected parent. There are instances where the child can also act as a parent. To create a parent-child hierarchy, you have to ensure that the key attribute property of the child or the successor column is set to true. Click the plus button on the Hierarchy tab to add a new hierarchy. On the Hierarchy dialog box, in the Hierarchy Type field, choose Parent-Child Hierarchy from the drop-down list to define the type of the hierarchy. You need to define the child node for a parent-child hierarchy on the Hierarchy dialog box using a key column. You also need to specify the parent node of the child node. You can also specify the order by column using sort attribute and sort direction. You can define multiple parent-child pairs to support the compound node IDs. For example, two parent-child pairs, cost center, parent cost center and controlling area parent controlling area constitute a compound parent-child definition to uniquely identify cost centers. Note that multiple parents and compound parent-child definitions are not supported by MDX. Per default, MDX only shows key fields which are governed by an output field property of the attribute view in the data foundation. If the drill down enablement property is left as per default for a non-key field, this field will not show up for reporting in an MDX client such as Microsoft Excel. When drill down enablement is set to drill down with flat hierarchy, MDX, the attribute is enabled for drill down and an additional flat hierarchy is generated. In the hierarchy generated, all the distinct attribute values make up the first and only level of the hierarchy. There are a number of client tools in the SAP or SAP Business Objects portfolio that support hierarchies. The table displayed in this section is the current status for SAP HANA 1.0, SPS09 and SAP Business Objects BI 4.1 SP5.